Hi, this is Dimitri Bilgir, author of Gateways to God, Remove Your Roadblocks and Live His Love. And I'd like to talk to you today about how do you overcome limiting beliefs. Now, the Bible tells us that all things are possible with God, and that's great. But the problem is, a lot of times our experience tells us things are not possible no matter what we do. Uh, if you've one, if, say you're single and you want to have a great relationship and you've dated and failed and had relationships and failed and tried and failed, eventually you're going to start believing that no matter what you do, you can't have the relationship of your dreams because your evidence is showing you that. Or if you've uh, heard people say, do what you love and the money will follow and you've done what you've loved and the money hasn't followed and you've tried to do what you love and failed and tried to do what you love and failed and the world hasn't cared. Well, it becomes uh, really easy to stop believing that with, all, with God all things are possible and easy to start believing that no matter what you do, this is just an area where you can't succeed. You become heartbroken. Now, what I'm here to suggest is instead of trying to get out there and, and make the relationship work and make your business work and make the world work so you feel better inside, I'm suggesting going to that part of you that has, is so broken and so discouraged and is so given up and finding that part of you and opening that part to God's love, to his light, to his mercy. So here's what you do. Think about where is a place in your life where you've given up? Where even though we're told that all things are possible with God, you know, your life has told you not in this one key area. It may be health, it may be relationship, it may be money, it may be business. I don't know what it is for you but some area where you've given up. And let yourself start to get a sense of, okay, if there was a part of me that's given up, what is this part like? Sad, dejected, crumpled up. What's this part's posture like? This is the part of you that it's like stepped into a dark world after one experience too many of things not working. You've turned and stepped into a dark, dark world, a sad world, a bitter world, a scary world. And now take that part in the arms of your heart and bring that into God's love and God's light. You know, Christ tells us, come to me, all ye who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I think that's so important. This is a wearisome burden to believe, to this part, to, be, to know for a fact it's never going to work out for you. So take that part of you by the hand. And bring it over into the light and say, okay, I'm laying down this burden before God. I'm pulling back the curtains to let in the light. What's it like when God's love starts to touch that part of you that has believed that you can never have what you want? And this is a place to sit, to, to, to rest. Let yourself be bathed in God's love. Not just the parts of you that are doing great, but the part of you that's really having a hard time with life. The part of you that's bought the idea that you can never have what you want. What's it like when God loves that part of you? Not to fix it, not to scold that part of you, not to correct it, but just to say, yes, I see you're having a really hard time. I see you're believing something that's just breaking you about what's possible for you in life. Let me love you just the way you are. And you may want to take some time to sit in bringing together this part of you that's broken with the God's love that loves you even when you feel that way. Not to correct it, not to fix it. Just to feel, yeah, God loves me even when I'm this dejected. And as you spend time with that, in time, don't rush it, but in time, you'll start to see the world differently. You'll start to say, well, wow, this circumstance in which I've given up, maybe it isn't so bad. Or I can start to see now that I'm filled with God's love, actually, I can step out differently than I ever have before and actually have some motivation to do that. You'll start to feel differently and want to live in the world differently. But I really want to encourage you, don't rush that. Find the part of you that's given up. The part of you that believes the limiting belief. And feel God's love for you even when you're like that. And if you spend time doing that, that will shift you and that will be how you overcome that limiting belief. So this is Dimitri Bilgir, author of Gateways to God, signing off.